the News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Our latest winter storm is almost here, so let's start with a look at expected accumulations here, starting as we go into just another couple of hours and into the uh, early morning hours tomorrow. This is what you can expect in terms of total snowfall. Now, notice the heaviest will actually be right along I-81 to the north and west of there, so including near Chambersburg, but mainly in the high terrain to the north of there. And then you go up I-81 to Harrisburg, right along that borderline there between 3 and 5 and 5 to 7. And then as you head up uh, I-78, Pottsville itself looking like a pretty solid amount to five to seven inches there. A plowable snowfall and probably the most significant snows for folks living in and around this blue area. But it gets a little bit tricky as we go farther down to the southeast because of the fact that I am expecting temperatures to warm up not only at the surface but in the mid levels of the atmosphere above the freezing mark at some point as the storm approaches. So because of that, from Lancaster to York, pretty close to that borderline of a one to three, kind of a sloppy snow, a slushy there in the pink areas. A three to five, that's what I'm going with right now for northern Lancaster, northern York, even into southern portions of Lebanon County, and pretty much encompassing all of Adams County, and again, a little bit higher amounts farther than there. But it doesn't, it's not going to take much of a jog for this storm, maybe a shift in the northwest 20 miles to have to bump that mix line a little bit closer to Harrisburg. We'll keep an eye on it for you. Our current temperature is right now in the mid-30s, some spots actually in the upper 30s, and precipitation knocking on the doorstep here. Now, Super Doppler 8 is picking up some snow in southern Franklin County, but that's not actually reaching the ground yet. Still some dry air at the surface, pretty much as expected. And you can see all that moisture. It's trying to climb in here. It's running into that dry air. But as it moves in, this is likely to change over at least to some snow as we go into the overnight and then by tomorrow morning back over to a wintry mix. But for some, it may actually hang on to snow a little bit longer. That's the areas in pink here. That's where we have winter storm warnings that go in effect from 7 o'clock until 1 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock this evening, I should say, to 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Elsewhere, mainly winter weather advisories. It's a step down from a winter storm warning. And that's pretty much for all of the other counties here in the Susquehanna Valley. That's because we're expecting more in the way of that wintry mix. So let's look, break it down for you here. In the News 8 Storm Team forecast, that snow, maybe a little wintry mix, at least at the onset, developing from south to north through this evening. Uh, but it'll probably be after around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and then probably around midnight for those northern counties. Those temperatures will drop as the moisture moves in. And by tonight, we'll probably see snow for most of us, and it could be heavy at times. But through the overnight hours, we'll start to see a wintry mix developing in our southeastern counties. I do believe most of our accumulation will actually fall tonight. By sunrise tomorrow, there will probably be a lot of mixing issues going on, maybe even just plain rain in our southeastern counties with a light to moderate snow possible in the far northwest. And all of the system will be wrapping up and getting out of here as we head into the afternoon. But I'm still giving this a moderate impact uh, in terms of our storm category here. The duration again tonight through uh, tomorrow afternoon. Precipitation type will start as a rain snow going to snow. And then back over to a mix, especially in those southeastern counties. And then uh, in terms of travel, probably some snow on the roads early tomorrow morning, becoming slushy by the afternoon. And our factors, of course, are temperatures. They're marginal. And there will be mixing, which will cut down on those snow amounts in the southeast. Again, here's our storm, and it's moving in pretty quickly here. We'll start to see the precipitation moving into the valley within the next couple of hours here and actually reaching the ground. On predictor, you can see it moving in as a rain-snow mix, but then changing over to some snow. And then watch what happens. That rain-snow mix line gets pretty close to Harrisburg there. We're keeping an eye on that. It could be a little bit closer to Harrisburg, or actually it might be a little farther down to the southeast, still up in the air at this time, and it will impact snow totals. Uh, but overall, most of that will fall during the overnight hours tonight. By tomorrow morning, there will likely be some mixing and some compacting of that snow before it pulls away off to the northeast. And then, actually, we're not done yet. We're tracking yet another storm system. This one's a clipper coming out of Canada, and it'll swing across the Ohio Valley and looks to start spreading some snow into our region by the time we head into later on Sunday, even into Monday. Monday morning's commute could feature a few snow showers around. We'll have to keep our eye on that. But a big cool down on the way for Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs only in the 20s before things warm up and another chance of snow by the end of the week. And today's kids' art comes to us from Mehmet, eight years old, from Mrs. Winter's class. Go figure at Ann Latour Elementary School in the Penn Manor School District. A little bit of a snowy scene there, and I think Mehmet will get his wish of some snow here very shortly. Thanks for sending that one in.